Indeed, I think the world as a whole can be very proud of uh, the achievements last week in Paris. Um, at the same time, from a gas perspective, um, it is obvious to us that reaching the completely renewable world will take a few decades, yeah. and not just a few. So the core topic now is how do we effectively decarbonize or take CO2 out of, out of our emissions. And here, gas comes into the play. The core issue we have now is between gas, oil and coal. How do we decarbonize effectively next to the growing part of the renewables? And in a world of increasing population and increasing industrialization, this will be a major challenge. The good news is we have a lot of gas, which is the lowest emission fuel of the three fossil fuels I've mentioned. So it is a cornerstone into, in driving effective decarbonization. Many people think gas is a problem. Actually, gas is the solution to get ourselves into the decarbonized world. Germany, following Fukushima back in uh, the beginning of the decade, has uh, not just exited from nuclear over time, it has also given itself very challenging um, targets to reduce CO2 and to build a lot of renewables. What we have achieved so far is we have spent an enormous amount of money to be paid by the consumers to build uh, a lot of renewables to basically um, change in the, in the power generation area from uh, a very much nuclear coal gas driven uh, power generation into a much more renewable driven um, power generation park. Um, where we have made a lot of progress in terms of getting renewables in, what we have not accomplished, which is a surprise to many, is we have not reduced our CO2 emissions. So the emissions, uh, CO2 emissions, are largely at the same level where we were back in 2009 and 2010. So the big challenge now to the German economy and actually to the German policymakers is we must deliver on our promises, we must deliver on our targets, we have to reach our CO2 emission target for 2020, which is supposed to be 40% below the levels where we were in back in 1990. Um, to cut it short, it's not enough just to set ambitious targets, you need to deliver. And that's probably where the Germans really need to take action now. And it will be crucial, A, to take the discussion around coal versus gas very serious in the power sector. We are not serious enough at that stage. To effectively decarbonize in the heating market, which also means rely on more gas. And last but not least, in the transport sector, where we have not seen any material reduction of CO2 emission in the last years, we finally have to get our act together. It's not about the target of one million um, electrified cars. Gas in trucks, gas in cars can provide a very effective solution. Germany has to get its act together, to be honest, to be a real role model for the world. Indeed, a lot of gas is coming our way in the EU, which also, in my view, is a strength of the EU. We are probably, in this part of the EU, I should say, um, the best diversified area in the world. Yeah, it's not true for the entire EU, but, but for, for, for this part, and, and in particular for North East Europe, this is effectively the case. Um, it means, ultimately, that LNG will have to compete with pipeline gas, and pipeline gas will have to compete with LNG. This is, of course, what we call competition. Finally, the gas market has fully arrived in a global market. Um, I'm confident that the pipeline producers, which are in particular the producers from Norway, from the Netherlands and from Russia, of course, which are the relevant producers for this part of the world, but also the Algerians, um, for this part of the world here in Italy, um, they will have to, to be able to compete. And uh, from a cost perspective, I would be optimistic that this is possible. And, by the way, from a consumer's perspective, this is probably the best world to be in. A, you have very competitive prices related to a global market, and B, you have security of supply because Europe has a choice. Pipeline gas from the traditional producers and LNG from elsewhere in the world.